We the first, we the first, we the first. It's your boy Bells of the first. And today, I'm going to be helping you guys out. But as you can see, well, you can't even see it, but I'm not going to lie. This is the last time I'm going to be filming in this room. You feel me? Because I've already finished off. I've sent my last essay. You know what I'm saying? We out of here. I've got, I got work to do and back in, back at home. So, yeah, man. I just wanted to help you guys out before I left. I want to help some of you guys out that want to go to uni. You feel me? I want to help you make the right decision. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because all of that's free. You ain't paying nothing. Okay? Like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to get straight into this video. These are things that you need to consider before you decide if you want to go to university or not. The first thing you want to consider is do I want to go to university? Like, is it for me? Like, do I need to keep studying? You feel me? Now, when I say, is it for me? Don't just say, no, it's not for me because you don't like to study. Because everyone I've ever came across has always said, oh no, uni's not for me. Uni's not for me. Listen, you need to understand. You gotta think of what you wanna be when you're older, okay? You gotta think of your future career. And that's gonna decide if you need to go through university because there's certain careers that it's kind of mandatory that you need to go through further education before you can get to where you wanna be. And there's other things where you don't need to go to university. For example, things like being a nurse, a doctor, all of that, you kind of have to go down the further education route because you need to get that learning, that further learning. But maybe things like, um, being a consultant, something in the business sector, you don't necessarily all the time have to go through the further education route. So ask yourself, is it for you? Do you need to go to university? Do you want to keep on studying? It's not, if, some, it's not even about if you want to. It's about what you want to do when you're older. If you know that you need to go to university, then you need to go down that route, unfortunately. There are other ways, there might be another way around it, but most of the times you're gonna have to go through the further education route. The second thing you need to consider is, is this worth it? Like, will I use my degree? Now, when I'm saying that, is it worth it? Meaning the debt that you're gonna get back from this. Obviously, university is not free. You're gonna have to pay for it. So, when I'm saying, is it worth it? Are you going to use the degree that you're going to pay for? If you, I understand that some people kind of use university as a backup. However, you got to think of it logically because let's say, let's do some calculations here. Let's say in the UK, um, tuition fee is like 9K, so it's like 9.2K. Cool, let's go on calculator. Let's break it up, let's break it up. So you're going to do, be doing a three year standard course. So 9,250 times three is 27K. That's just for the tuition fee. Now, maintenance loan as well, let's say you're getting another 9K a year, which is another 9K times three. So you do 27,750 times three, 83,000 pounds. You gotta think to yourself, is that really worth it? That's the standard. That's the standard fee in the UK if you're a home student, by the way. That's if you're a home student and you're getting nine thousand pounds in your maintenance loan as well. Eighty-three k you're coming out with. Is that gonna be worth it? You gotta think of it like that. The job that you're trying to apply for, are you gonna be able to elevate in that role to the point where your wage that your your future wage that you're gonna be earning is going to be worth? that 83,000 pounds, because best believe, when you start getting paid, when you go over, when you start earning over a certain amount of um, money, I think in the UK it's like 14K or something, you have to pay every month. You gotta pay back the loan every month. And then it gets scrapped to like 40, at it, at like in your 40s, when you can't pay it all back. So you gotta think of it. Is paying that much worth it? Do you wanna do that? If you think that's worth it, cool. You know what I'm saying? It's then you can see it as an investment. If you know that you're not even gonna be in that role that you're even going to university to study for, you might have to think twice before going to university. Do I wanna do my course? This kind of goes back to the first point though, because it's not really about if you want to do it, it's about if you need to do it. Because you might not wanna do the course, but the future that you have planned for yourself, 
you know that you need to get there. But at the same time, if you have a certain, if you got plans of your future, you're probably gonna want to do it anyway. But think to, think to yourself, are you gonna enjoy the course? Will you be able to stay motivated throughout the whole time that you're there? You go, I'll put that into consideration because I've seen a lot of people come and go since I've been in university, you know? Like I've seen people not even make it in the, through the first six months. I've seen people drop out after one year. I've seen people drop out after two years. And one thing I'm gonna say is don't go to university to drop out. If you need to do a gap year first, go do that gap year. There's no point of you dropping out of uni and then being in debt anyway. Because even if you drop out of uni, the debt don't get canceled. You still have to pay that one year that you was in uni for. In my opinion, I would say go for a gap. If you need more time to think, go for a gap year. I do understand that, you know, your friends will probably finish. If you take a gap year, they're gonna finish one year before you, but it might be for the best, I can't lie. I've got friends that are my age that are finishing next year, but I finished this year. It don't matter because at the same time, we have different paths. We're going through different paths. That might be the best choice for them. So that's why they took it. The next thing you want to decide is, are there any alternatives? Now, what I mean by that is, there are other things, you know, there are internships, apprenticeships, full-time work, part-time work. You got to think, what do you want to do? You know what I'm saying? In this day and age, yeah, for some weird reason, I mean, it's not a weird reason, it's, 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 it's reasonable, but you know, like degrees are getting less and lesser and lesser like um, relevant. I've seen people come out with first classes and recruiters would pick someone that has experience before they pick someone with a degree. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to know, would you rather do three years of work and have three years of experience or would you take the three years to go get a degree and then come back and start looking for a job, but potentially risking not being able to have a job straight away because of a lack of experience? You know, like, every, you see me, I love having loads of streams of um, income. So I've applied for jobs where they've ended up telling me you have a lack of experience. But then they say, oh, what do you do? What do you do for university? I told them what I do and they're like, oh, that's quite relevant to what we want. However, you have a lack of experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta make sure that you're really, really picking the right choice when it comes to that. Think about what's more important to your career, experience or your degree, and make your decision from there. The last one, the last question in my opinion is, if my friends aren't going to this university, would I still go? Now, the reason I'm saying this, there's some people that, are, that know how to move by themselves. So it doesn't matter, you know, there's people that go to university being the only person they know that are even, that are even in that uni. That's fine. Someone like me, I went to university that I didn't even know no one was going to, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, like I can move by myself. I'm very, very independent. So I don't need to rely on people. However, there are some people watching this video right now that might be wanting to go to university because you know that your friends are going there as well. Now you gotta ask yourself this question. Have you done the research on the university? Are you only going there because your friends are going there and you, know, you just believe you're gonna have fun there? You know, if your friends disappeared right now, would you still be going to that university? You know what I'm saying? You gotta know, you gotta know this because friends obviously influence your decisions for, for some people when it comes to um, choosing universities, you know? Like, especially when you have these tight friendship circles that move around as like a clique. If one person says, oh, I'm gonna go there, the rest of them will start looking into the, that university and they might be influenced to go there. Now you go think of this, there's certain universities that specialize in different things, you know? Like, there's certain universities that are the fifth best university for business, but then they're like, the hundredth best for nursing or something like that, like, you know? And all of you guys are not going to have the same paths. So you gotta understand, you gotta understand that with or without your friends, they're not gonna be, your friends are not gonna be sitting with you in that class when you're doing, when you're in that lecture, you know? So you can't revolve your university decision around your friends. And some of those friends might even drop out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand that. In fact, let me, let me, let me tell you like this, even me, Personally, there was a group of people that I was with when I went into, into university, you know? There was a group of people I used to roll around with. Best believe I'm like the last man standing right now. I'm like the, I'm the last person 
that even goes to this university, you know, other people dropped out, you know, things happen. So you gotta understand when it's time for people to disappear, are you still gonna be able to carry on your university journey? Or are you gonna wanna drop out because they dropped out? You know what I'm saying? You gotta consider these options, you know what I'm saying? You gotta consider these factors and make sure you make, you pick the right decision for you. Yeah, man, I'm just gonna keep it there. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, you know what I'm saying? Those are only a few questions that I feel like you should, you should consider. Obviously, do your own research, you know? Like, if someone like me, I do international business management. Now, I didn't have to go to university to be successful in that in that um, in that sector. Really and truly, if it's up to me, I don't really even want to use my course. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to use my degree, but you know, it's a good thing to have. That's my take on it. But I want to make like I have other income streams that doesn't require me to even have that degree. So I'm trying to push forward in those aspects. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I didn't need to go to university to be successful in what I'm really trying to do and my actual goal in my mind, but you might have to. So just make sure that you're making the right decision. You know, make sure you go to the best university for you. Don't go to university because you heard that there's a lot of partying and there's a lot of people like you there. Go to the best university for you and your success. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, short and sweet. Like the video if you enjoyed that. I'm gonna see you guys. Not in this setting, but I'm going to see you in another setting. That's the end of the video. One.